Finding the magnitude and phase of the frequency response of a system is a problem that frequently arises in many electrical engineering courses like circuit analysis, signals and systems, and communication. There are two methods to find the magnitude and phase of such a frequency response. Method 1 entails converting this expression into Cartesian form, a real part A and an imaginary part B. The magnitude would be the square root of A squared plus B squared, and the phase would be the inverse tangent of B over A. To do this conversion, we need to multiply the top and bottom by the complex conjugate of the denominator. Doing so, we get the following result. We can then split this fraction into a real part and an imaginary part. We are now ready to apply the formulas. So the magnitude would be the square root of real squared plus imaginary squared. We can simplify, combine the fractions, and then simplify once more. Similarly, for the phase, we'll use the formula. We'll have a similar simplification. And then finally, we can use the odd property of the tan inverse function to take the negative sign outside the brackets. So these are the results for the magnitude and phase of the h of j omega we started with. But this method is a little bit cumbersome, especially if you deal with higher order systems. And that's why method 2 is my preferred way of doing things. In this method, you'll think of your system as h1 over h2. Then the magnitude would simply be the quotient of magnitudes, and the phase would be the difference of phases. If we apply this, then the magnitude of the numerator is simply 1, and the magnitude of the denominator is 4 plus omega squared under the root. Similarly, for the phase, we'll have the phase of the numerator, the phase of 1 is simply 0, and then the phase of the denominator is tan inverse omega over 2. Subtracting, we get negative tan inverse of omega over 2. And this is precisely the result we obtained using the first method. But as I said, this method is much better as it's simpler to use, especially if you're dealing with higher order systems.